Tedious Tales of Sodor is not made for children. It includes vulgar language, violent themes, and existential concepts. Biscuit Cat Productions is not responsible for your children watching this video. I also would like to say that Biscuit Cat Productions does not own the rights to Thomas the Tank Engine, nor do they have any affiliation with the company that owns it. Happy Holidays! What? What the heck? Hmm. Morning, Percy. What's going on? <sighs> what are you... Oh, fuck's sake! <sighs> What's your problem now, Henry? Look mm. at the damn sky. Huh. First snow of the season. You know, I was wondering when it would show up. Snow? Yeah, snow. White fluffy stuff. Cold to the touch? I... I don't know what that is. Oh, well, that would make sense. You've only became sentient within the last few months. You haven't even seen winter yet. I'm pretty sure they have. Who are you? He didn't mean you. Go fuck yourself, winter. Kill yourself! Hey, if it's snowing, that means Christmas is coming soon. Uh... What? Today's the 24th, James. It's Christmas Eve. If it's Christmas Eve and we've just woken up, which is typically around 8am, and the railways close at midnight to allow for the last few Christmas trains, then that means I have approximately... 16 hours. I gotta go! But where the hell is he off to? <sighs> Every year, James gets us presents. I never really remember what he gets us, let alone Christmas as a whole. No doubt because I've blocked it from my memory for always being a travesty. Hang on, what is that? Christmas? Ooh, right. You wouldn't know what that is either. Wait, you've never heard of Christmas? How could you've never heard of Christmas during the entire past couple months? Well, to be fair, we've all basically been off screen until now. <laughs> oh, nice one. What? Nothing. Percy, Christmas is this wonderful time of year where... Um... Where freezing cold snow covers the rails and goods trains become significantly harder to pull. Well, no, it's... The time of year where passengers become antsy, anxious to get home, rowdy and jumpy, and not to mention the children. <laughs> no, it's not that either. It's... When you give presents to people on engines you care about. <sighs> All three of you are wrong. In history, it's to celebrate the birth of Christ. But here, it's when family... Oof. Never mind. Good morning, dear engines. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Uh, as I'm sure you all can see, the first snow of the winter season is finally among us. A bit late, if you ask me, but regardless of the weather, you all know trains must get through. Percy, this year you are tasked with taking an annual coal train. It's a slow goods that starts at Tidmouth and ends at Vickerstown. You'll be leaving a wagon of coal at each station along the main line to ensure furnaces and the heat remain running on Christmas Eve. We wouldn't want anyone freezing on a night like this. Of course, sir. Now, James, I... Uh, where's James? He's getting presents, sir. Naturally. In that case, Edward, you'll be ensuring that the yards are in order and sorted neatly. Yes, sir. Gordon, you'll be taking the express as usual. Make sure you have plenty of sand for the hill. Right, sir. As for the rest of you, make sure the tracks stay clear. I want no delays today. Yes, yes sir. sir. Wonderful. If I don't get the chance to talk to you all later tonight, Merry Christmas. An annual coal train? i best get ready. It'll be a long trip. Make sure to take on plenty of coal and water, okay? 
I will. Oh, and try not to push yourself too much either. I won't. Good, and、uh, don't forget a brake fan. <laughs> I'll be fine, Thomas. I can handle myself much better now. Goodbye. Okay, everyone, ignore everything Sir Topham Hatt just told us. Oh, Annie, did you feel that? Yes, I did, Clarabelle. Thomas is avoiding his responsibilities again. Oh, it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. What do you mean, ignore everything he just told us? They've never experienced Christmas before. It's up to us to give Percy the best Christmas party they'll ever have. What? What's wrong with a usual Christmas party? Some of us don't know what Christmas is really about. Oh well, fuck you too, Thomas. Yeah, feelings mutual. I have to agree with Gordon. Percy's innocent and new to the world. Throwing something so big may be more trouble than it's worth. No, not for Percy. This will be worth it. In that case, what did you have in mind? All right, I'll take care of Percy's gift. Edward, I need you to find decorations, at the very least, ornaments. Henry, can you find us a Christmas tree? Something big. Gordon, we need carolers. I don't care how you get them, just get them. Meanwhile, I'll go find James. We need activities, right? I'm sure he can figure out something fun for us to do. As long as it's not another rousing game of I Spy. Oh, don't even get me started on that. I still have flashbacks. Just like James said, we have about 16 hours to prepare. Not much to work with, but if we're on the same page, we'll get this done in no time. Now move out! I'll meet all of you back here before Percy's back. You're very lucky. I consider you tolerable. And that I agree. Percy deserves something nice to end their year. You truly think this is worth the trouble? Percy's a simple engine. It doesn't take much to make them happy. Then we'll just blow their expectations out of the water. Well, if you insist. All right, gift ideas. You've got nothing, don't you? Hey, listen. Gifts require thought, okay? Dude, just give them twenty bucks. They'll be happy with it. Twenty bucks? Fucking hell, you're American. First off, I don't have twenty bucks. Second, what would they even buy with that? I don't know. Fucking cheese. <laughs> Look, cheese is a huge trend nowadays, especially around Christmas. Just try pepper jack. It's awesome. I don't care. I'm not copying out and getting Percy something they can't even use. Is is there something different about this place? Oh yeah, that's right. I fixed it after Percy nearly fucking died here. That hill into the harbor was not up to regulation. Noted. Hmm? Oh, good, James. Good to find you. All the other engines are helping me set up a Christmas party for Percy. I need you to find activities, okay? Okay. What kind of activities? I, well, just something fun. Okay. What do you consider fun? I, I, I don't know. Just imagine you're Percy, okay? What would they like? Holy fuck! Sorry, I asked. I got it. Do you? Yeah. All I need is a screwdriver, a latex glove, and the demon core. What? Actually, forget the demon core. I just need to find Mr. Oppenheimer. See ya. Wait, no, 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 no! You get back here, you motherfucker! What would make for good ornaments? Oh, no, those would be terrible. Good colors, but far too big for any tree. Honestly, what else was I expecting to find here? Get us the biggest tree you can find, Henry. You're a strong engine, Henry. Carry the whole fucking forest, why don't you, Henry? As if these trees aren't the same damn tree over and over, Henry. 
No, really. They're all the same damn tree. Oh, look. That one's a bit darker than the rest. <clears throat> Greetings, everyone. Climb aboard. We have a Christmas party to get to. Wait, what? A Christmas party? I need carolers. Look, I'm, I'm just trying to get home to my family, not whatever it is you're planning. But, but, but I... They're relying on me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know? I think I'm, I think I'm alright, thank you. Yeah, no, we're going home. Wait, wait! I... There will be coal and water. Wait. No, 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 not coal and water. Uh, foods, foods and drinks, foods that people eat. Yes, foods and many, many drinks. Fuck. All right, other than the horrors of nuclear warfare, what else would tank engines like Percy enjoy? I give up. Ow! Stupid truck! You're the fucking dumbass who hit me! Yeah, buddy. What he said. Ray. Okay, I'll shut up. So, I heard you're looking for activities for this little Christmas party y'all are throwing. My favorite activity is listening to the screams of the innocent. <laughs> Why the fuck do we hang out with you, Jamie? You don't? You're trucks. What? You said you hang out with me, but you don't. I'm going to have an aneurysm. Listen, you want activities for that little green fuck nugget, right? Yeah! Take us to them. Oh, of course! Tank engines love shunting. Great idea, Frank. Okay, first off, my name is Marco. Second, I- Oh! Oh, god damn it! Fuck you! Eat ah, I love Christmas. Alright, come on, Thomas, think. Listen, man, I have loads of other really good ideas. I don't want your ideas. God, I wish I could just ask them. You can, actually. They're right up ahead. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Hey, Percy. How's the coal train going? It's great so far. I love being able to stretch my wheels like this. I love helping run the branch line, but this is so much more... Freeing? Yeah. Don't worry, I get it. Uh, hey, uh, before you go, what do you... like? Huh? Yeah, like, what do you enjoy? Well, I... I think I like friends. But you already have friends. Like, what's something you like, but don't have yet? Uh, uh... Ooh! Warm things! Kinda like warm things. Warm things? Yeah, like... like coal in my firebox. Huh. Okay. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. I was just curious, that's all. Alright then. Well, I better get going. I still have a lot of ground to cover. Goodbye! Well, that didn't help much. Quarry was a bust, but maybe I can find something here. No, that won't work. What? Why do we have that? Why? And that's the recipe for mustard gas. Yeah, this isn't working. Oh, I feel like this is hopeless. Like I've been rolling through the same section of track for the past ten minutes. 
know. And what's this? A hidden line? Unseen by society for hundreds of years, I assume. <sighs> sure. I'll bite. Oh, these tracks are so old and wobbly. Why can't abandoned tracks just stay well maintained? All right. Let's see what this clearing has to do. Uh, now look. I'm not the one to bite the hand that feeds. But... What the f- Am I really about to do this? Am I really going to do this for a tank engine's Christmas party? Yes. Yes, I am. Why do I do this to myself? The tracks are so narrow and wobbly. Why do we even have a tramway? We don't have any tram engines! Well, I hope I can clear that. Oh, oh for heaven's sake! Oh. Oh, forget this! Okay. Compose yourself, Big G. Deep breaths. Everyone, there's a Christmas party to attend. There's plenty of drinks and food. Uh, 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 th there's alcohol. You can get fucking wasted. Alcohol. 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 It's always the bloody alcohol. Ah, this was a great idea. This was the worst possible thing you could have done. Why? You think trucks like being bumped? Uh... Maybe? No, we hate it! Oh. Not my problem. Wh wh where are you going? I have presents to get! N no! Get the hell back here, B-Braid! Your pizza! He's not coming back. No. Warm things, warm things. Percy's already got a bunker full of coal. What else would keep them warm? A fucking blanket. Shut up. <sighs> Why? Because if you come up with the idea, it's not as special. They won't even know. I don't care if they won't know. I'll know. Why do you care so much? My dude, you remember that time when you lost your branch line because you were being an ignorant prick? It was a bit different than that. Point still stands, you were being a prick. Do you remember that? <sighs> Yeah. Go on. You're being an ignorant prick right now. So Top Matt gave you orders. Are you following them? Uh... Exactly. You want to put off your work all day and go get a present for Percy? Go for it. Not my problem, but just know it'll bite you in the ass somehow. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know. Figure it out on your own. Good. Didn't ask for your help anyway. Maybe I'll go find something on my branch line. Oh, there has to be something. I'm the brake fan. Now, hang on a moment. Surely a scrapyard should have... Edward, you bloody genius.
Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, for goodness sake. What's all this? Your pal James is a fucking idiot. Well, that was a given. Did he leave all of you like this? Yeah, he thought a good activity for Percy would be shunting. But, but this is practically a hazard. We know. I like hazards. <laughs> oh, we know that too, Jamie. Don't worry. I'll have to see if I have time to get you sorted before the party. I... Oh, that's Henry with the tree. It's... Is that... Oh, good lord. Right, if I know anything about tramways, is that there's always an area for an engine to turn around. Hmm. Aha! That must be it! I... Mother... What? Oh, warm things, warm things, warm things. God, it's starting to lose its meaning. Narrator, I think I got the perfect idea. I don't care. No, no, seriously, look. <sighs> what? That. A scarf for Percy? Ooh, deja vu. Yeah, well, it's perfect, isn't it? Well, it's a bit small, don't you think? Well, I was just thinking maybe you could make a really big one. Uh, <laughs> you want me to exploit my powers as a narrator? Oh, come on, like you haven't exploited them before. Yeah, good point. But you're getting it on a flatbed and a box, and that's it. Deal. It's, uh, perfectly positioned. A little unnerving, but, uh, hey, I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me. Awesome. What about the work you need to do? No, oh, just make it work with your narrator magic. I, I'll just make it work. What am I, your fucking maid? Now oh, that cheeky bastard. As if one vibe check wasn't enough. I swear to God. How did you get that here? Don't even speak to me about it. All of the bridges from the forest to here are gone. And that's not even mentioning the tunnels. God, I just hope Thomas thinks it's enough. How is it already decorated? Well, it was like this when I found it. I wouldn't be surprised if someone set it up for me. What do you mean by that? Long story. 
Right. And the carolers just fine, Gordon? Oh, come on. Why is it always me? Yeah. No, oh, just fine is the wrong term. I believe the one I would use is with great difficulty. Oi, this food is rubbish. What? What do you mean the food is rubbish? You didn't even try anything! You don't have anything good. We've basically got everything under the goddamn sun. Hell, I'm pretty sure half of this food was stolen. What don't we have? You don't even have bread. Uh, I... I could assure you that we do have the fucking bread. You don't have marble rye. No. 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 No! Line in the bloody sand! I've had my non-existent arms twisted every which way all fucking day! Just this morning, I was casually ordered by that bastard tank engine to whine and plead to people on the bloody streets to come to some impromptu Christmas party. As if I have no dignity, no self-worth. I'm not about to drop everything again and go bread shopping on Christmas Eve for you all. I'm not your bitch. I'm the Railways Premier Express. And Four and a half dozen boxes of marble rye bed to go, please. Uh, yeah, all right. Cash or check? Check, please. In whose name? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Sir Topham Hat. Gordon! I didn't expect to see you here. Uh, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be taking the express? Oh, uh, yes, I did. Everyone's home. Really? Well, that was quick. But that does raise the question, why are you here? Christmas shopping. Uh, engines do that? Yes. Okay. Right, done. Merry Christmas, I guess. That's, that's the nicest thing someone said to me all day. James? What's up, Hen? What are you pulling? Couches. From where? I got them from Vickers Town. You... You stole Mainland Express couches? I didn't steal them. I found them just after an engine left them in a carriage shed. James, that's theft! I... Why did you even steal them to begin with? They're free! can just take them. No, they're not free. You can't just... Edward, knock some sense into him before I knock him off the viaduct. Violence is never the answer, Henry. Oh, Thomas better get here soon. I'm not sure how much longer I can take. Just a bit further, and I'll be home. Can I help you, narrator? Well, let's just say that oh-so-infamous quote. And then there was trouble. But Thomas was puffing so loudly through the cutting. Narrator, what are you doing? That the snow that had piled on the cliff sides had begun to shift. Narrator, stop. Snow began to fall all around Thomas. Narrator, narrator, please. Then one especially large pile of snow. No. Fell right no! on top of him. No! Look, I thought the trucks were a great idea. They weren't. There! Enjoy your damn bread! <sighs> Where's Thomas? How should I know? He's probably out still, getting a present for Percy. Well, he's taking his time. That's true. He did say he'd be back before Percy. But I wouldn't be surprised if they are already on their way back from Vickerstown. Well, he'd better hurry. I'm not entirely sure how we can entertain Percy on our own. I could entertain him. I feel as though we should fear what that implies.
Why? I told you it'd bite you in the ass. No, you did this. And for what reason? To prove me wrong? On what? Oh, for the love of- for trying to control your friends, like you always do! Control my friends? What are you talking about? You and your manipulation. You're always trying to keep things going your way, when you hardly ever consider what others would even want. Just as long as you can make yourself look better, right? Oh, oh, that, that is fucking ironic! Oh, I'm sorry? If you want to talk about control freaks and manipulation, then just look at yourself. A narrator, a storyteller, choosing what can and can't happen on a whim just because you're bored. I don't know what you think I can do, but in leagues of people like you, I mean nothing in terms of control. All I ever wanted to do with this, this whole Christmas party, was for a moment indulge in the slightest shred of compassion I felt for anyone in ages. After that stupid stunt you pulled that ripped me from my branch line, I hit a low. Even after I got the branch back, I was not in any state fit to run one. But you know who helped me feel just a little bit better? Percy. Just by being there, just by listening, they've already made living on this railway slightly easier. And what do you want to do the moment I want to show them I care? Dash my hopes and dreams by burying me in the fucking snow, so go on, narrator, tell me again. Who the fuck is the control freak? What? I didn't know. What? What do you mean you didn't know? I didn't know you actually listened last time. And I didn't know that's how you felt. Oh, what? Is that my fault too? I... You want to make your friends happy? Then don't question me. Just go! Sorry for misunderstanding. Fine. Apology accepted, I guess. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to make it bad or weird. You know that, right, narrator? What, are you giving me the silent treatment now? Just then, Percy whistled in the distance. What are you- Okay, you know what? Fine, be that way. Talk to you later. Thank goodness. Is it just me or does he sound like he's going a bit too fast? What? Oh God! Oh! No, 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 no! Why? Oh, that's not. Oh my God! <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Oh, no. No, 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 no! No. No. What happened here? Thomas? It's Thomas! Where are you? Going? What was that about?
Uh, hey. Hey. The other engines, they told me about your plan? Did they? I... I don't get it. What don't you get? Why are you upset? I've... I screwed up. Screwed up on what? Your first Christmas, I ruined it. Thomas, I've... I don't even know what Christmas is about. Exactly. I, I wanted to show you that, Percy. I'm not the best engine I can be. But you helped make me better. I wanted to thank you for that, but... Evidently, it wasn't meant to be. Edward mentioned family. Family. That's... That's when it's people who mean a lot to each other, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean a lot to you, and... You mean a lot to me. That makes us family, doesn't it? In a way. Well, if Christmas is about family, why does it matter? Huh? What I mean is, who cares about how it looks? If Edward says Christmas is about family, and I'm with my family, then that's Christmas, right? I... I mean, besides, this year has been crazy. What a better way to end it than by saying, to heck with it! Let's smash some trucks and break things! <laughs> Your optimism is something else. I try my best. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to the sheds. Should be warmer up there. Especially if they're, by chance, uh, on fire. <laughs> Edward! Thank goodness you ain't dead! That's Thomas James. Whoa. Wait, his last name is my first name? That's so cool! It is a Christmas miracle in itself that you are still functioning. <laughs> I'm not. Right. Feeling better, I take it? Yeah. Uh, look. Sorry about the sheds. Oh, don't you worry about that. They were old and outdated. Not to mention that ungodly turntable that only functioned half the time. Christ, don't remind me. And you haven't even noted the color. Ugh. I'm honestly glad it got demolished. Thank you, Thomas. Oh. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. On the note of destroying things, it's time for presents! We should probably go. Oh, brilliant. What did you get this year, hmm? Is it another rusted whistle fished from the scrapyards? Oh! Nah, I couldn't find one. So, I got the next best thing. Oh my goodness. James, where did you get these? He stole them. From, from who? Look, for the last time, Henhouse, I didn't steal them. I borrowed them. From some sleek looking silver engine at Vickerstown. Oh, <laughs> splendid. These will do nicely. Thank you, James. You're welcome. And now, Henry? I don't want it. Ah, oh, come on. At least hear me out. Come on, Henry. Give him a chance this time. Oh, fine. What is it? It's a free spa day! A whole day of leisure and relaxation without having to deal with your work or other engines. You... Really? Yeah. That's... That's actually not a bad gift. I know, but you don't want it, so I was just gonna use it. Well, 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 well look, maybe I, I... I... I've changed my mind. That's a wonderful gift, James. Thank you. I take it graciously. Of course. Merry Christmas, guys. Is anyone gonna ask how James got a spa day for an engine? Nope. Fair enough. You know, while we're on it, I'm surprised you haven't said anything about this. Oh, I just kind of... Thought it was decorations or something. No, it's, well, it, it's a gift. Christmas present. I, uh, didn't have time to wrap it, considering. I understand. Who's it for? You. Who else? <gasps> T 
Thomas, it's amazing! What is it? It's a scarf. You said you like warm things, right? Well, this is something people usually wear. I figured you could wrap it around your smoke box to keep you warm. A scarf? Oh, I love it! Thank you! Huh. Of course. Well, it was no fun getting stuck in the snow, but it was worth it for the party. Merry Christmas, Percy. Merry Christmas, Thomas. And a Merry Christmas it was. Sure, Thomas's party failed miserably, but still, Percy, ever the optimist, didn't mind in the slightest. They were with the engines they cared about. They were with their family. Which, if you ask me, is what I think Christmas is truly about. Whether you're the controller of a railway, enjoying a glass of most definitely alcoholic eggnog, with a station master who most definitely deserves a raise. Harry, my, my, my good friend, I, you really should have a glass for this eggnog, it is quite fantastic. I appreciate the gesture, sir, but I think you've had more than enough for the both of us. Oh, oh well, well if, if you insist, I... <laughs> <laughs> or an old tram engine, tucked safely away with your dearest friend, lost to the ages and not yet uncovered by the ongoings of the world around you. Whether you're a pair of troublesome twin tank engines who take care of industries around a bustling quarry, or a mysterious caller belonging to an unknown organization, unidentified by those that you keep a keen and watchful eye on with indeterminable intentions. As long as you have someone with you, by your side, Christmas will always be Christmas. Can I help you, James? I am not James. I am Jacques, your personal bootleg. I will not rest until I have gotten everything you desire. James. Yeah? Fuck off!
And what? He just tipped over on the curve? Bloody right he did. My long wheelbase hardly works on the corners here. You'd think they work well at harbors on the mainland. <laughs> uh, you know, I really ought to get a repaint. This livery is so out of date even now. What, it's the Southern Railway now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I was thinking maybe red. Red? What, taking after my chassis? <laughs> oh, shove off. <laughs> but, but, but no, uh, red. Like like a deep maroon with white lining, too. It might be nice, right? You would be the only red engine on the island. Barring visitors, of course. Yes, well, provided they don't switch the colors around. White with red lining. Ugh. <laughs> Absolutely not. Though, there's nothing wrong with being painted black. Would keep in line with James. Well, why don't you get a repaint yourself? What? I could see you in... green. Could you? Sure. Black lining, perhaps even yellow lining. I'd think it'd look good on you. Red and green, eh? It's not Christmas yet. True, but we'd make for some damn good decorations. <laughs> <laughs>